What's going on people? Welcome to a new video on the channel and if you wanted to see a video of me struggling I think this is probably going to be the best one on the channel. Welcome to some Horizon 5 once again. Uh, there's actually a specific reason why I'm driving this car and you guys can probably see it in the thumbnail of this video. In this video I'm going to try to drift the full mountain pass, the full Kata Este drift zone and I'm going to do it all with assist on. So with traction control on and stability control. This is going to be a stupid video. I don't know what gave you this idea. I've tried it before, I think, on Horizon 4 or 3, like, a long time ago. The handling physics are slightly different in this game. They're still not, like, super different. Like, they haven't really changed a lot in this game. But they, uh, they are slightly different. However, what isn't different is stability control and traction control. Now, for people that watch my videos, you guys know that I never play with assist on. ABS is the only assist that I usually have on. It doesn't matter how fast or how powerful a car is. I always just drive with assists off. It's really good for games, especially when you're first starting off to play the game, to just play with assists off. It's just easy for you to like realize or just you know to figure out how good it is or how bad it is without assists on, and uh, you just sort of learn from it, and then you just drive better because you're you're gonna be faster with assists off, always. Anyway, this is what is gonna happen in this video. Sim steering gun is gonna is just gonna stay on. Traction control now is gonna be switched on. Stability control is gonna be switched on. Now, for the people that don't know, this makes a massive, massive difference for drifting, especially. I'm not able to accelerate a specific amount because you know the traction controller is gonna stop me from spinning my wheels. Stability controls is also uh, stability control is also gonna stop me from sliding, as well. So I'm gonna try my best. Oh my! I literally cannot accelerate at all. This is all-wheel drive. However, I'm gonna be turning this, uh, this beautiful, beautiful car here, the Mercy, the Lambo Mercy, I'm gonna turn this thing into a drift car. And it's just, uh, well, let's just see. Let's just see what happens. So, fully rear-wheel drive swap this thing. Gonna give it some more power. I'm gonna put the wide body on as well, because it just looks good. And, uh, yeah, I'm keeping the standard engine that's in it now. Twin turbo this thing, this monster, uh, turn this thing into a rear-wheel drive, and Liberty Walk Kit. I don't really know how much power I should be giving myself here. I, I don't think it's gonna be, like, I, I don't think it matters. I honestly don't think it, it matters at all. Should I just put drift tire compounds? I mean, I am gonna be, I am gonna be drifting this thing, and it's gonna have a lot of power, but I don't know. 265s maybe on the front. It's already got 335s in the back. I don't really know if I want to go wider with that. I think that's fine. Um, as for the wheels, uh, probably just going to go with some ADV ones. They always look good, especially with the, the Liberty Walk kit. Something with a lot of center offset or something very, very, very heavily dished. Um, ADV ones, like I said, they always look good on uh, on the old, the old event door here. I think I like these ones quite a lot. There's a lot of center offset with these, and they look good. Uh, wheel size, however, I will go slightly bigger. Uh, 19s for the front and the rear. And yeah, let's just buy race spec everything now. I don't really know what else I could possibly be doing here. Uh, off road diff, because that just locks the diff immediately, so it doesn't really matter. Obviously, we have drift suspension. It's going to be really nice and low. I mean, it already is. I wish we could make it even lower than what it is now, but I guess I can't. Um, Power-wise, I mean, 1,000 horsepower all going to the rear wheels. It doesn't really matter, does it? Because it's it's just going to be all limited. I'm not going to be able to put the power down at all. Okay, 1,435 horsepower, 1,434 newton meters, and 1,438 kilos. It's almost a 1 to 1 to 1 power, torque, and weight ratio. That is ridiculous. I never actually thought of that. Okay, well, I'm going to also give this a nice new paint job. And let's just try to slide this thing. I don't know what else I could possibly do. I could probably make it, especially with the toe. I could probably ruin the, the handling physics of this thing. And get it to uh, to slide a little more. If I just do that, I don't really know. I'll have to drive this thing just to figure out what it's like to drive. Um, I'm just going to add a bunch more camera because I know for a fact I'm going to need to slide this thing quite a lot. And uh, it's just <laughs> it just is going to have a bit too much grip. Uh, now if I go into find your designs, I might put, if it's here, I was going to say, I might put uh, Daigo Saito's design on this thing. 
I don't know if I can. I don't know if it's available here. This is Don Juan Song's one. I could probably use his design. It's just it'd just be funny to use his. Uh, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna search for something. All right, I found a design here. I'm gonna put it on. I want to see how good it is. It's probably not gonna be like spot on, um, but it's just as long as it's it's somewhat close, it should be fine. Yeah, it's it's okay. It'll do. It's it's actually pretty good. Okay. Anyway, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I think this is going to be a very, very interesting uh, very interesting build. Plus, just the way this, this is just going to drive. Okay, let's just go back. I, I'm... <laughs> you guys are going to definitely watch me suffer here. All right, I'm going to launch this thing. Watch this. Okay, first gear, it let me spin. Second gear, I'm not flooring it. You can see my traction control light is just on the entire time. I can kind of go sideways. It's definitely limiting me by a lot. Yeah, I cannot accelerate. It just won't let me accelerate at all. I can upset the balance of it. It's just that it won't let me accelerate. The only way I'm actually able to do anything here is just if I go into a corner and I whip the handbrake. And then I just let it slide by itself. That is the only way I can do this. Oh man, this feels really, really strange. My front left wheel. My outside front wheel is just... Trying to catch some... Oh my god, there's ABS kicking in. Trying to slow me down. I'm not even braking. It's not even ABS, it's the... It's just the building control. Oh, this is just terrible. This is so bad. <laughs> right. I think I'm gonna have to fully just destroy my toe here and then just see what happens. What can I possibly do? What if I do brake balance? What if I just get rid of, of brake balance? Would that adjust anything? Let me have a look here. If I do this, uh, or maybe what if I do that? Let's see if that works. And then braking force low? It could possibly do that? Because it's just not going to have any brakes now. Oh, whoa, okay, okay. Wait, wait a second here. Have I figured out something? Traction control is still not letting me slide. Interesting. Okay, well, this is going to be very, very strange to drive. I'll, I'll tell you that now. It already feels super, super odd. Um... Right, I'm also going to go ahead and do one of these, because those gear ratios are horrendous. They're super, super short here. I don't know what's going on with, with fifth here. Why it's why it's like that. Um, okay, maybe I made them a little bit too long. We'll, we'll do that. And uh, I'm going to mess with my toe. I'm just going to do this. Because this is just going to absolutely ruin the, the car itself. All right. Let's, let's try see. Am I able to pull off some sort of points downhill here? I'm kind of cheating, I think. I'm kind of cheating by... By having all assists on, but I kind of... Even though I put on stability control, I kind of disabled it with the braking pressure. And braking force. Because basically what happens, it's it's automatically breaking my front wheels for me, pretty much, right? To stop me from sliding. But if I made it so it all goes to the rear wheels, as well as... As well as turning brake pressure off, I pretty much just got rid of my brakes. <laughs> Except for my handbrake, which is the only thing that I have right now. Oh, it's still so strange. Because this traction control is still there. It's still trying to stop my rear wheels from spinning. Okay, let's try. Let's try something. All 
Oh god, it feels so strange to drive. Oh my god, it, it feels a little bit like a, an all-wheel drive car as well, because... I tried to accelerate and counter steer, but... The car just wants to go on a straight line again and again and again by itself. Clutch shaking definitely works. Oh my god, yeah, clutch shaking works, except if I do it out, I spin out. <laughs> Just have a look at those lights, the traction control lights and the and the ABS light. They're going crazy. Yeah, brakes do nothing, by the way. <laughs> Breaks to absolutely nothing. I can't believe I'm actually still getting points. Oh my god, this is a ridiculous car. I told you guys, you're gonna watch me struggle in this video. It's very, very, very weirdly limiting my power. How am I sliding this thing? How? <laughs> How am I doing this? What's happening? How is this? How is this even possible? It's actually not even a bad amount of points. I've actually gotten worse drift cars than this. Oh my god, that guy's using the same car as me. Except he's using it. The Clap V12. Instead of the, the proper Lamborghini one. Oh my god, I, I need speed. I need speed. I need speed, more angle, and clutch kick more. Because... I still want to get a lot of points. Oh my god. Okay, I'll take that. Again, I'm tapping the brakes, but they do nothing. <laughs> I'm literally tapping the brakes there so I can pull the front end in, which just does absolutely nothing. Okay, need more speed. There we go, there we go. Don't straight me out, game, please. Just let me, let me slide. Okay, third is just unreal. Oh my god, again, I'm tapping the brakes, they do nothing. I need to remember that. It's just, you know, force of habit. I can't slow down with brakes, I have to slow down with just going sideways, just lateral grip. There's no way I got this many points. There's absolutely no way. There is no way I got this many points. I can, I think I can squeeze out a million points. With this thing. Another 45,000 points, whatever it was. 46, 47,000 points. Look at my brakes. I'm doing, I'm braking. Like nothing's happening. <laughs> Let me just... Should I just drive around like this? I'm accelerating while I'm braking. It just does nothing at all. <laughs> I would have pulled off a million points. I'm going to do a one more run. I probably won't show it because it's just going to be kind of annoying just to watch the same thing again. I generally thought I was going to struggle more, but somehow I found a little workaround. So for anybody that says it's really difficult to drift with trash control on and stuff like that, or it's really difficult to get points with trash control on, I think... I think you're just bad at this game. 
So I generally just think about this game. Also, who drives a tractor troll on? Who drifts a tractor troll on? In general. Okay, I'm getting very, very close to the end here. On my run. It feels very, very hard to drive. This thing. I don't know if I'm going to squeeze out a million points, but I'm definitely getting closer. Ah, oh, they distracted me. Get around. <laughs> just go away. The first run was just so good because I just had to get used to the car. And now that I got used to it. Come on. <laughs> it's so much harder. It's so much harder to do a run like that without traction or with traction control on and all that. Oh my god. That is really, really difficult to do. It's really, really difficult to do. <laughs> it's an interesting challenge trying to do that with uh, with a car like this. It genuinely is. I, I, I thought it was going to be a lot more difficult, first of all, just because, you know, just. You know, traction control and stability control is on. I mean, it is still on, and it's it's still trying to stop me from sliding. But somehow, the way I built this thing, just I can I can just do that now. For the people that want to see the difference with uh, without traction control on, I'm gonna turn all assists off right now and do the run again. Uh, I think the thing that I can possibly do now is actually adjust my brakes because I don't think I think my brakes are just not gonna slow me down at all uh, if I do that. So I'm gonna do everything. Put it back to the center again. Just like that. And watch the points that I can get with this thing. No other... Nothing changed on it. On the tune. Except for the braking pressure. And the... Uh, I guess... You know, the braking... The braking force and braking position. Whatever. Front and rear. Watch these points. Right. I'm pretty much around the same position that I was the last time. And it just feels so much more liberating, driving this thing. Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice, just controlling my throttle the way I want to. Using handbrake properly, just... Oh, it's so nice. It's genuinely so nice. It feels like I'm free. It feels like I'm free, driving without traction control and stability control on. It just is... It feels super, super nice. And that is the difference in points between both runs. And that, was, that wasn't that was even like a fantastic run either. But that is the difference in points between those two. It's ridiculously good. It's so much fun driving this thing uh, without trash control on. However, it was an interesting challenge. It was kind of fun to just try it out and see what it was like. Um, but yeah, try it out yourselves. Just see how you get on. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the struggle that I've had to go through in this video. But uh, yeah, if you want to see more videos like this on the channel, please subscribe. It helps out a lot. Like the video, share it, do whatever it is you guys want to do. Uh, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.